Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. After working on the Pride and Prejudice dress in the last video, this time I'll be working on another Jane Austen project, this time inspired by the 2020 film Emma, designed by Alexandra Byrne. I missed this film when it was out in the cinema, but got it on DVD when it was released and absolutely loved the costuming in it. The whole way the film is styled is beautiful and the colours, the choreography. Also, the hats are amazing, pure confections. I won't be making an exact replica in this video, but I will be taking my inspiration from the costumes, the look of them, the colours, etc. I hope you enjoy it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this new project. In the film, Emma has several coloured silk petticoats. So I'll be using this green silk that I have found to make the petticoat. And for the dress, I have this white voile with um, woven stripe. This came from John Lewis a long time ago. And I'm thinking to cut it with the stripes running vertically on the main part of the skirt and then cut it horizontally on the hem. For the skirt pattern, I will be using this as my base from the Cutter Women's Clothes by Nora War. And for the sleeve, I'll be using this pattern, which is from a dress, the wedding dress of Elizabeth Bonaparte. The coloured petticoats in the film had a lace detail on them, normally in a V going down to the centre front. So I found this lace in my stash and I'll use this for that purpose. Because the centre back panel is cut on the fold, I don't have any seam allowance to sew on the placket. So a trick that I was taught when I was at college is to sew a small dart here at the end of the opening. This will then give you about a quarter of an inch seam allowance to sew your strip of fabric on for the placket.
For the lace that goes around the neck of the dress, I found this border anglaise in my stock. What I'm going to do is split it up the middle so that I just have the frills and then sew one onto each side.
and that's the finished dress. With this period, you can wear them in so many different ways because of the accessories. You could wear a different colour petticoat underneath. It could be worn with or without the chemisette for day or evening wear. You could put a Spencer jacket over the top, shawls, gloves, etc. This has been a really good project for me to do. I've done a lot more hand sewing on this than I would normally do. And I feel that it's really captured the look of the costumes in the film Emma. Please join me again for my next video and please remember to like and subscribe.